I just wanted to do a quick um, little putting it together um, video. So I made the, um, the cross for the wheels and then right there on the bottom you put the screw through it after you put that, um, that round silver part and on the other part you have the black uh, cap. And after you have that together then the, um, the pull with the blue top which has the receptor for the screw there you screw on that part right over there so I'm gonna do that right now and then I will be back okay so I put it together now so you make that cross you put that um, black pole in there like this part right here that I showed you before put the wheels in there that's pretty simple and then you have the blue pole then you have the shorter pole that you stick in there and then right on top of that is where the steamer part goes in. Um, and then here, I just want to show you all the different parts. And then, so here's the power cord right over here. And over here, you have the on-off switch and the part for the, um, the steamer. Again, the instructions are like almost non-existent. I really wish that the, uh, the seller had included better instructions. Um, it basically just says here, place to device until the support stably. Check if the seal for the hot water cup has been tightened up. But it really doesn't show you how to put it together. So it really is kind of intuitive but still it you know i think it'd be nice to have some step-by-step -step instructions so um anyway let me show you the other part do not put upside down um don't use it if you don't have water use clean water they recommend you use tap water um yeah so that's all that there's to it so it's pretty nice. You know, it will save you money. You don't have to go to a spa to get it done. You can use it at home. Um, let me you show you the, the water container right here. Um, it's made out of plastic. It's not glass. And um, so here's the container. And it says right on there, loosen tasten. I have no clue what that means. Um, that must be just something that's poorly translated. So... Um, Yes, uh, once you figure out how to put it together, it's not that hard. And like I said, it's really nice to use at home so you don't have to go to a salon to get it done. So anyway, here it is put together. Okay, so I put water in there and you can see it going right now. And it only took, oh man, less than a minute and it started going. So I turned both of these on. This you can use to add water to it. Um, when, once the water level gets to be too low, an alarm starts to sound and it will turn off. Um, this part here, this is where the steam is coming out of now. And I don't know if you can see that on the video, but there's quite a bit of steam coming out. Um, there, now it's fogging up my, um, my phone camera. So, um... Hopefully we'll unfog so you can see better again. So there's quite a bit of steam coming out. And you can rotate this so that it hits your clients or your own face at just the right angle. Um, it's pretty quiet. It does not have a timer. And a lot of people prefer that because when you have a timer, you have that clicking sound going. And you really want to lay down and relax when you do this. So, um, yeah, it's very nice. Um, let me see. I think I have talked about everything here. So I just put tap water in there. They say make sure you put tap water in there, not purify water. Um, and I put hot water in there just to get it going faster. Um, yeah, I think I've gone over everything. Um, like I said, this is to add water to the container. So if you want to keep going a little bit longer, I think you can see the steam now from this angle. So yeah, and it's, it just feels really good, and it's really good for your face, so it's very nice. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use it. Yeah, I would recommend it.